In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your free EIN for your business. First thing you want to do is make sure you are at the right website. Now, I will not take away from other websites that I know do this for you that charge a fee. There are some benefits. There are some take backs to having someone else do this. If you have used, I've used LegalZoom in the past. If you use, uh, what other ones are there? I mean, there's tons of them, but this is not to take away from that process or that websites that work like that. This is to show you how you can do it for free and it only takes a few minutes. So first thing you want to do is make sure you go to irs.gov. That's irs.gov. So once you are on the website where you see all of this stuff right here, right? What you want to do is you want to look for let's make sure I'm getting the right thing it's 1099 nope we don't need that one and we are looking for EINs right there so you're gonna look for information for EIN we'll click on that boom popular So once you click on the popular EIN, it'll bring you to a page that'll explain EIN, which is short for Employer Identification Number Online. So here it goes through step one to determine your elig eligibility. Sorry about that. You may apply for EIN online if your principal business is located in the US. So if you're out the country, you will have to go to a different process. But if you're in the United States, you can apply for your EIN right here. The person applying online must have a valid taxpayer identification number. So you must have a social security number. You must be a human being, right? Um, you are limited to one EIN per responsible party per day. Now, this was something that I liked because a responsible party is the person who ultimately owns or controls the entity or who exercises ultimate effective control over the entity. Unless the applicant is a government entity, the responsible party must be an individual. For example, a natural person, not an entity. So this was something that I found was pretty cool is you could come on here you can create as many EINs as you want the limit is one per day so you can make 365 EINs per year if you wanted to so after you realize you're a US agent I mean not a US agent a US person you have a social security number move on to step two understand the online application you must complete this application in one session as you will not be able to save and return at a later time now your session will expire after 15 minutes of an activity and you will need to start over. So make sure when you're doing this, you set aside, you know, five to 10 minutes to not be distracted, to not have to stop because you will have to complete this. And step three is easy. Submit your application. After all validations are done, you will get your EIN immediately upon completion. You can then download, save and print your EIN confirmation number. So there's an explanation to go over the taxes, some benefits, it breaks down everything for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and create an EIN, because like I said, we can create one every day, so I'm gonna create one. So I'm gonna click apply now. System is for authorized use only. You'll see this pop up. This just gives you a breakdown and some information. I'm gonna click okay, make sure you read that. All right, so about the EIN assistant. You must complete this application. Now you already heard that, and here's some restrictions. Make sure you read the restrictions uh, to make sure you aren't and you know you aren't when it's restricted so let's click on begin application all right so the first thing you want to do you see it's five easy steps you want to identify authenticate put the addresses details and then the confirmation so what type of legal structure is applying for an EIN before applying for an EIN you should have already determined what type of legal structure business or type of organization is being established so here we're gonna choose the type. If you don't see your type, select view additional types. But the types that we use are all right here. So proprietor, partnerships, corporations, limited liability company, which is LLC, estate, trust, and there's additional. So for this instance, we're gonna use LLC. And I suggest everybody does that. Now get with your tax expert, do your research on these different uh, forms of organizations. They all have their different benefits. Here you'll see we've chosen a limited liability company. What is this? A LLC is a structure allowed by state statute. A LLC is formed by filing articles of organization with the state secretary of state. An LLC must be unique in a state. So you guys read over this. An LLC can have two or more members. 
uh, or one member, LLC can have an unlimited number of members. And LLC members may include individuals, corporations, other LLCs, or foreign entities. So what an LLC is not, LLCs are not incorporated and do not file articles of incorporation. If you ever need to change your type of structure, we recommend that you do so now. Otherwise, you have to start over and re-enter your information. So make sure you have the right one that you want. And I'm using the LLC. I'm going to click continue. All right. How many members are in your LLC? So for this one, it's only going to be me. I'll put one. You can put as many as you want. Please select the state where the business is based. And mine is going to be Delaware. All right, please confirm your selection. Due to the number of members in your liability, uh, limited liability company, you are considered a single member liability company as the type of structure applying for your EIN. Since you are a single member, you will initially be classified as a disregarded entity for the purposes of filing a federal tax return. Now, guys, this is going to get really detailed. And if you want some more information on the tax purposes and the tax benefits, which there's over a thousand. I have a book that reads all of the tax benefits you get for having an LLC. So this is why we want all of our people to have this because there's so many benefits that come our way, right? That we're just letting walk out the door. So this LLC puts us in a position to benefit from so much, especially tax wise. So read over all of this stuff, guys. Make sure you have a clear understanding of everything here. Um, if you need to change, so we're gonna click on continue. Page is going crazy right now. Let me see. Give me one second. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll log out. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it like that. Why is the LLC requesting an EIM? Choose. You know what? Let me go ahead and pause this real quick so I can log out of Facebook. All right, I'm back. So choose one reason that best describes why you're applying for EIM. If you're starting a new business, you want to hire some employees for banking purpose, you want to change your type of organization, or you want to purchase active business. So for this one, we're going to start a new business. I'm going to click continue. All right, please tell us about the responsible party. So this is your name or whoever the LLC is under. I'm going to put my name. I don't have any suffix. So here is going to be my social security number. And I'm going to pause this section so you guys uh, don't see this, but I'll, I'll cho choose one. I am the owner. Right. So give me one second. I'll put my social security number in and then I'm going to click continue after I insert it. So this is the part where you put your social security number in. Now, once you enter your social security number, it's going to ask you for your street address and you want to make sure this is the address for the state you're using. So I'm going to use. I want you guys to be sending any information to me. So. I'm actually going to go ahead and fill this out and pause this section too. So here's where you choose your state. You guys see I'm um, using the state that I'm applying for my LLC. So you want to make sure that this is a physical address. Uh, must be a U.S. address. Do not enter a P.O. box. If you are a military and you're using military addresses, you can click this link right here. So make sure that this is a physical address. It's very important. If you have a business address, you may use that one, but no P.O. boxes. I'm going to pause this so I can finish putting my correct information in. You should do the same thing. And down at the bottom, it says, do you have an address different from the above where you want your mail to be sent? So you can actually do this if you want to enter an, another address in which I do the same because I'm living in Georgia. So I get all my mail sent to Georgia, uh, but my LLC is registered in Delaware. So here, put your information in. I'm going to pause and complete. All right, so once you enter your address, you'll be taken to the next page where it will verify your physical location. We have reviewed the physical location and checked it against our database. So the IRS has actually found this address, right, to verify. So this looks correct. This is actually the address. So I'm going to accept the database version. So what is the mailing address of the LLC? So this is where you're going to put where your mail is to be delivered to. So I'm actually going to put my business address, which is that right there. And sweet. 638. Actually, I'll put unit. Atlanta. All right. So once you have the address correct, make sure it's there. You're going to click continue. It's going to verify again. And yes, that is the right one. I'll click on accept. All right. So now this is the part where you're going to choose the legal name of your LLC. So tell us about the LLC required fields. Right now, I'm going to choose, you know which one I'm going to do? Legal name. I'm going to register Sus Villano. 
You can also do trading, trading, doing business as, and then this is only if it's different from the legal name. So if you have an LLC already and you want to do business as, you can put that doing business as name right there. So if you had a previous LLC and you're, you're registering, you're doing business name as, you can put that here. County where your LLC is located, that's Newcastle, state, yep. State territory where articles of organization are or will be filed. So I'm gonna put Delaware, everything is in Delaware. LLC start date. Now, if you're starting off, you can put today's date or the date you're starting. I've been in business for a while, so I'm actually gonna put the beginning of the year. Uh, all right, so once I put the date in, it's gonna take me to the next one. So some more fields. Does your business own a highway motor vehicle with a taxable gross weight of 55,000 pounds or more? No, I'm not a truck driver. Does your business involve gambling or wagering? No, we don't gamble. Does your business need to file Form 720, which is quarterly federal excise tax returns? No, we don't need to. If you're unsure about that, you can click the links. It'll break everything down. Does your business sell or manufacture alcohol, tobacco, or firearms? No, not this business. Do you have or do you expect to have any employees who receive Forms W-2s in the next 12 months? So this right here is important. Um, well, you can always change and update it, but if you plan to have employees, I suggest just putting yes right now. Uh, right here, you're gonna describe your employees. What is the first date of wages? Now, if you don't have any employees, guys, let me just go back and show you. If you don't have any employees. Sorry about that, but if you don't have any employees, you don't have to worry about this section. But I plan on having employees, so what is the first date wages or annuities were or will be paid? So I'm gonna put the end of the year, get myself to the end of the year to get some employees on deck. Note, if applicant is withholding an agent, enter the date income will first be paid to a non-resident alien. So if somebody else is doing this for you, they're gonna enter the dates. So you guys don't have to worry about this because you're doing this yourself. What is the highest number of employees expected in 12 months? Expected, right? So that doesn't mean you have to be accurate, it's just expected. So number of agricultural employees. I don't have anybody in agricultural. I'll put number of employees at least two, right? The total number of employees must be at least one. Do you expect your employee tax liability to be 1,000 or less in a full calendar year? So am I gonna be paying taxes on my employees uh, will it be less than a thousand dollars this year? Yes, because it's only me and this can always change guys by selecting Yes, you are electing to file an annual employment tax return form 944 if you prefer to file a quarterly return Form 941 then select no. So I'm okay with actually, you know what? Yes You're electing to file an annual employment tax return. I will put yes because I don't want to file a quarterly So we'll go with yes what does your business or organization do? Choose one of them. So here's, you're gonna choose what industry your business is in. So I got, we have here, we have accommodations, constructions, finance, food service, healthcare, insurance, manufacturing, real estate, rental and leasing, retail, social assistance, transportation, warehouse, wholesale, other. And I'm gonna click other because this is going to be my consulting business. So make sure you read these explanations here, guys. If you fall in one of these lines, you just choose. Like I have a finance LLC. I did that yesterday. So today I'm going with other. Click continue. Now, please choose one of the followings that best describe your primary business activity. Now, here's the one I was looking for right here. Consulting. Choose minds. Click other. Continue. Do you provide operating advice and assistance to business and organizations? Yes, please specify type of consultant. All right, so what we are is a digital marketing consultant. Consulting, that's what we do. We help people build their brands using digital services. So I want to register my real name is because, you know, I, well, not my real name, but the name I use because I do business at Seuss Villiano. So how would you like to receive your EIN confirmation letter? So you can receive it online, which is the fastest. I suggest everybody do this. You want to make sure you have Adobe Reader or you can receive it by mail. And this takes about four weeks. So the smart thing we do is to receive the letter online and just save it. So I'm going to click continue. 
And now you guys see it will verify it as a summary of your information. Please review the information you are about to submit. If any of the information below is incorrect, you will need to start a new application. So make sure that everything is good. Once you know that it's good, you can go ahead and click submit. I want to make sure all of my stuff is good. Everything is good. All of that is good. I'm going to click submit. Done. And now I have my new EIN. So you guys can see. Let me see if I can scroll out here. How, how easy this is. And I don't even want you guys. Make sure you aren't stealing my information. But I just wanted to show you guys how easy it was to uh, get your EIN. So let me make sure. And then you'll get a confirmation letter that will tell you everything as well. So you go through here. Save this. And you'll be able to use your EIN to open up bank accounts, right? You'll be able to use your EIN instead of using your social security number. So you actually don't have to get taxed. You can pay taxes. So many benefits to having an EIN. I'm going to go over another video just letting you guys know some of the many benefits that we have just by using our businesses. So I hope this video was informative. IRS.gov. Very simple. Start your EIN for free. Takes 10 minutes to do it, right? And then as soon as you're done, you get your EIN so you can open your business. If you have any questions at all, feel free to go to elevatefinancial.com, which is L-I-V-8. I'll bring it up so you guys can see it. L-I-V-8. I'll bring it on this one. Free to go here. If you have any questions you guys can reach out if you want to know more about the eins how you can really come up if you really want to build your business brand start to build some equity in your company there's a lot of things we can help you guys with but the first start is to get your ein register on ios.gov get your ein and start taking advantage of all the breaks we have here. So that's all I have for you guys now. This is Seuss Villiano, better known as Jamar Johnson when we talk in business. And I see you guys at the top because the bottom is way too crowded. Have a great day.